So one of the challenges in coaching is to make things as simple as I possibly can for my clients. Uh, why? Because what I know is that with simplicity, uh, you get understanding. When something's understood, you get implementation, and when you get implementation, you tend to get results. And that's really all that we as coaches are after, results for our clients. So one of the things that I try to do, or a couple of things I should say I try to do with uh, with everything is, like what I've got behind me, I like to make things uh, hand-drawn. Uh, so w rather than things coming across as very corporate, um, I want things to be really accessible. So that's why I like to draw things out in, in uh, by hand. The other thing is I like to use is just use some metaphors. So I've got, I've actually got a raft below this screen here of uh, toys, which some of you might think, what the heck's going on here? But I, I'll, I'll explain. One of the first toys that I like to reference is the good old Russian doll. Uh, and this is really from a goal setting analogy. So again, as you, you, you know the, oh gosh, you know the format with the Russian dolls, there's, there's lots of smaller dolls within the bigger dolls. And really, as an analogy, what this says is, how do we make sure that we're clear upon what our five-year goal, let's say, might be? And then what does three years look like? What does, you know, 12 months look like? What are our quarterly goals, weekly, and then daily goals? So again, goal setting really for me is about Russian dolls. If you can get that into your head, then you kind of get this idea of that everything you do today should be a subset or a sub-action of the goals that you're looking to achieve in the week and so on and so forth as it builds up to the big, uh, to the big goal. The next uh, one I'll, I'll use is this little thing here. I nicked it off my daughter's uh, kind of bedroom shelf. This is a vampire. Uh, but actually, one of the things in coaching that we're really looking to do is understand what are your time vampires? We've only got so much time uh, in, our, in our working day, in our lives really. And there, there will be things that we either know or maybe even unconscious of, that are just sucking us dry of time. So again, what are your time vampires? What are the things that you know that if you were to get rid of that distraction or that uh, request for time, it would just allow you more time to get on and do this, the big stuff? The third, the third tool I'm going to show you is my little frog here. Why have I got a frog? Well, again, for those of you who have read this book here, Eat That Frog by Brian Tracy, great time management book. But effectively what Brian Tracy says is that every day what we should look to do is eat our the biggest, ugliest frog on our to-do list. And what he's really saying is, rather than procrastinate on the big, ugly thing that we know we have to do, um, do it, do it early and do it, do it as quickly as you possibly can because the reality is the longer you leave it, these, uh, you know, a frog doesn't get any better looking with time, it just gets bigger and uglier and you may as well eat it just as early and quickly as you can. So again, that's, that's the metaphor that, uh, that we use for, uh, for the frog. And then of course we've got this other one here which is the elephant. So. All too often what we're finding is that people tend to bury their heads in the sand and maybe ignore that a problem is actually uh, even in existence. So what we look to do is make sure that we get the elephant out. You know, what's the elephant uh, in the room that we need to discuss? Because once we can wrap our arms around a situation or a problem and actually own it, then we can do something with it. If we're actually burying our head in the sand, and ignoring almost the elephant in the room, that's no good to anyone. And then my final toy for today is the monkey. So again, for those of you who have read this great book, The One Minute Manager Meets the Monkey, what I'm finding as well an awful lot of time is that too many business owners, too many clients are actually taking monkeys onto their own back from one of their team members. So uh, the metaphor here being is that um, these are all the problems that people are coming to you with and as you accept them you're overburdened with other people's problems as opposed to how do we leave the monkey firmly on the other person's back but coach them and help them to find the solution to their own problem or their own monkey. So, so really these, um, as, as silly as this may sound to have toys around uh, a coaching room, actually hopefully you'll understand that 
we need to set some goals and we need to be aware of, uh, the, of how the goals actually fit into one another. Being consciously aware of what is it that's sucking the time from our lives. Getting on and doing some of the, the important tasks that might be ugly but they need to get done. And also confronting the brutal facts and not burying our head in the sand by owning the, uh, the elephant in the room. And then finally, making sure that we don't take too many of these on our backs and let other people solve their own problems and for us to act as coaches and managers to our team members. So there you go, hopefully quite useful for you. If you're interested in any one of those, uh, those situations, maybe that you're not very good at goal setting or maybe you're not so good at actually allowing people to come up with their own solutions to their monkeys, whichever, whichever one it is, give us a shout. If I can help you in any way at all, of course I will do that. Okay, all the best. And until we meet, good luck, good, luck, good luck in business.